Good morning, boys and girls. Today I'm going to tell you about the fiery serpents and about how Moses put a snake on a pole and people were healed. And what happened is that the people of Israel, if you remember, they were crossing the desert. They were in Egypt. And remember, they were slaves. And God rescued them from the land of Egypt. And they traveled. They got the Ten Commandments. Told you that last week. They got the Ten Commandments. And then they started going to the Promised Land. A land that God said was flowing with milk and honey. A land that God had promised them for a really long time. The thing is, is that they had gone all the way up here. Now, if you can imagine a map. And now, guess what? They had to go and come back over here and then come up like this. They had to take a detour. And the people weren't happy about that. There's Moses. The people weren't happy about that. And so they went and told Moses. And they grumbled. We're told that they grumbled against God and they grumbled against Moses. And they said, we, de we detest this miserable food. Well, if you remember, God had rained down manna, that bread from heaven, for them to eat every day. They were sick of that. And they said to Moses, Moses, did you bring us out here to die? No. You brought them out there to give them eternal life. To give them to the promised land of, um, of, of Canaan. We get the eternal life, not them. They eventually did. But God, Moses was leading them along with God to the land of the Canaan, the promised land. But the people complained. And so you know what God did? God sent fiery serpents. And when it says fiery serpents, it means fiery means fire. They get bitten, that, that poison in the snake burned. And not just burned, but a lot of them were getting sick. A lot of them were dying. And so since they were sick and, and were dying, you know what they did? They went to Moses. And they say to Moses, we have sinned against God and we have sinned against you. Go talk to God and see if he can save us from this. And so Moses went over. And he prayed. And he asked God, God, to confess their sins, what should we do? And God said, take a bronze serpent and put it on a pole and they will be healed. And so that is exactly what happened. Now, hold on one second. What happened was that Moses actually did that. He took a bronze serpent and he put it on a pole and everyone looked to it and they were healed. And that bronze serpent, it became a symbol and, and, and such a healing thing that people, they actually kept it around for years and years, hundreds of years. They kept that around because people who were sick and dying looked to the bronze serpent on a pole and they were healed. Now years later Jesus comes along and there's a guy by the name of Nicodemus who's talking to him at night and as Nicodemus talks to Jesus Jesus says for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. But what he also said is that just as Moses was lifted, lifted up the snake in the desert, and people looked and were healed, so he must be lifted up, and everyone who looks to him will be healed. See, we're going to sin, we're going to grumble, but as we look to Jesus... As we look to Jesus, 
Jesus is like that snake. We're healed. We're healed of our sins. Eventually, we are even healed of our death, so that even though we die, yet we live. So the good news is, yes, the people of Israel complain, but the better news is that God provided a snake on a cross for them. And the best news of all is that Jesus went on the cross for us. And by him, as we look to him by faith, we are saved. Well, that's our, that's our story for today. And the Lord be with you. And, and take care. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.